Hi and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Clever Dog Pan and Tilt Camera. This is something that you've been looking for or you're interested in. You want to see me unbox it and test it. And please stay tuned. Okay, welcome to Inspect the Gadget. If this is your first time here, then please think about subscribing. Because um, today I'm going to be unboxing the Clever Dog Pan and Tilt Camera. Okay, I'll just first tell you a few specifications that are on the box. Okay, some of the features are it's in high definition. It's got 2 megapixel 1920 times 1080 video resolution. It's got high definition lenses. It's got AI human detect detection. It's got remote control, so it'll pan 350 degrees by a tilt of 110 degrees. It's got cloud management, so you can access and manage and control your camera from the cloud push and cloud playback. It has two-way audio with leading edge mic and speaker, P2P server, global Distortion of 500 servers, remote real-time monitoring. It's got night vision with an IR range of up to 8 meters. And TF card, supports up to 128 gigabytes micro SD card for local storage. Intelligent alerts, receive alerts about motion and sound changes. Wi-Fi connection, Wi-Fi distance up to 50 meters. And it works with Alexa, which is a bonus. Control the camera with Alexa with intelligent assistant. Uh, there's a few more specifications on the side there. I'm going to go through them right now. Okay, um, so yeah, I bought this on Amazon. Well, got it for $32.99, is the price on that at the moment. Okay, looks pretty basic inside. So that is the camera. Okay, made of plastic. And that'll be your little tilting camera there. And uh, that's your, I believe, your push button. So you can speak to the person behind the camera on the app. And you got a little uh, speaker there. And then you've got the power USB port. Uh, and that's about it. It looks like you've got a little uh, thing there to stick on a tripod or something. Interesting. Now this is just for indoor. Okay, so you can't use it outdoor, so it's just an indoor security camera. We have a power cable, it's a USB power cable. Some paperwork. Okay. I'll just untie this to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, so yeah, it's got auto tracking. Once the moving object is detected, the camera will automatically capture and follow the moving track and immediately push the alarm video until the ob object stops moving. Timely detection. Of suspicious target real-time push site status uh, two-way audio so yeah we built in microphone and speaker so you can keep in touch with your family anytime anywhere uh, cloud storage <coughs> SD cores that I mentioned uh, use your own five volts one amp adapter adapter not included no battery inside so I guess you've got to use this one. Okay. <coughs> Just gonna wait for that to connect to my laptop. A bit of movement there. There we are. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, as I'm recording this on my mobile, I'm going to have to install the app and come back to you. Um, I have to give it a little test. So just, just leave it there. Okay, I've just tried this. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you because I'm recording on my phone. I need to get myself a separate camera, something I'm working on. Um, but yeah, just tried it on my phone. To be honest, I am quite impressed. The picture quality is pretty good. Um, I am planning on having it in the window, putting outside towards my front door so I can sort of see who's coming and going. Um, but yeah, it does sort of, as soon as you're sort of getting this line of vision, you'll get a notification straight to free to your phone through the app, um, showing you a, a still footage of who's there. Um, now, you should be able to put a, a, an SD card in so you can record footage or you'll use the cloud. Now, for the life of me, I cannot find anywhere to put the SD card. There's just no slots. In the instructions, it said there's, like there's one there. Um, and without ripping it apart and breaking it, which I think is what I would do. There's no uh, nowhere to put the SD card, um, which means I can only use the cloud storage. And the basic package on the cloud storage was, I think, four dollars a month. It's got a seven-day loop, and it holds it for one month, and that's the lowest package. And it goes up to I think about twenty twenty dollars or something like that. Um, I can't see. I might have to send them a message just to, to find out. If there is anywhere, or if you've got to take it apart or something, um, but I can't, I can't see it because that's all, all, all attached. I think if you took it apart, or just break it. So it's probably cloud storage only, which is a bit disappointing because they're only paying extra every year. Um, but other than that, the pitch quality is good, and it's got a little app in little in app features where you can control the camera, so you can say you know point it up, down, left, right, so on. Um, there are settings in the camera where it can, when it detects a human, it will track them. So if they're moving around outside, it will then follow them for a period of time until it's like stop. They stop moving, and obviously they move again. It'll, it'll pick them back up again. Um, my will come through to your, through to your app. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. 32 quid. I like it. I've seen worse. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link in below the uh, below the video. So if you want to buy it, click on it. Happy days. Um, and yeah, just give me a big thumbs up because that would be a massive help to my channel. And please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.